Hey guys, Ryan here, and in this video, I'm going to be covering a quick tweak that you can make to your installation of desktop Linux in order to prevent some Windows games from crashing or freezing when using compatibility layers such as Steam Proton. And the value we're going to change today is the VM Max map count, which is a Linux kernel parameter that controls the maximum number of memory map areas that a process can have. Now, if all that sounds a bit more technical and mumbo jumbo, Really, in simple terms, all it really means is that this is a limit that's set to prevent a single process, or indeed a group of processes, from consuming excess amounts of virtual memory, which fundamentally could lead to a performance or system instability. Now, one advantage of this is that since this is a kernel parameter, it should work on Ubuntu, Fedora, and ArchBase systems alike. Although by default, you might find that in most of these cases, this will be set to around the 65,000 value, which is relatively a small number. In fact, if we use the Steam Deck as an example, it uses a value of 214-748-3642. In fact, if my memory serves me correctly, I believe that both Fedora and Pop! OS use this value as well. And this is important because it's been shown that a higher value can prevent games such as the Finals and Star Citizen from crashing, especially when you're using, like I said, a compatibility layer such as Steam Proton. The question I suppose is, how do you change the limit? Well, like many things in Linux, this is controlled by a config file, specifically the system control config file, which is located typically at root slash etc. In fact, let's open this file, which we can do with the following terminal command sudo nano root slash ett slash system control config. Now in this example, I'm using nano as the name of the command line text editor that I use, but you can also use another one such as vim. Okay, so with the file open, all we need to do is scroll all the way down to the bottom and add the value of vm.max underscore map underscore count, and then the number that we said earlier, which is 214-7483642. Once we've done that, we can save the file and then reboot the machine. Okay, so now we've signed back in, we can now check that the new value has been applied correctly and you can run the following command. cat slash proc slash sys slash vm max underscore map underscore count, which as you can see has returned the value we specified earlier. And that's it really. You should now have less crashing when playing certain Windows developed games on Linux using compatible layers such as Steam Proton. So in conclusion, simple tweaks as such as the one covered in this video is why Linux as a gaming platform is such an interesting prospect to me, as no matter what the challenge, there's always a solution. In either case, thanks for watching this video today, and don't forget to leave a like, share the video, and subscribe to this channel to catch more content like this in the future. As always, bye for now.